behalf of Max and Carly, I want to welcome you all here today for this very special moment in their lives. It's a beautiful celebration of their love and their future together as husband and wife and ultimately a family. Your love brings you here to this moment of commitment and we're celebrating this unconditional love that you have found in one another. You're on two different paths throughout your lives and those paths have ultimately led you to this very place. And it's been four years together. And though the first few months you tried to hide the relationship, but there was no doubt the attraction you had for one another. And over your time, you grew, your hearts grew fond for one another, and your love grew. And then came the day you decided to marry. And from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making little promises to each other, kind of in an informal way. Maybe it's those times when you enjoy cooking together, or walking the dogs, or going for a hike, or spending time with the family watching the Patriots or NASCAR with your family. Those sentences that began with, you know when we're married and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. Many of those late night talks that include someday, somehow, and maybe, really the unspoken matters of the heart. And the beautiful thing is, you both are standing here before one another today, before God and all of us present. It's just one more way of your hearts and your minds expressing Remember all those dreams and promises we shared? Well, today I stand here holding your hand because I meant every word. And there's this desire within each of us. It burns in all of us here present, but we witness it in the two of you. And that's human desire for love. For each person on earth yearns to love, to be loved, and to know love. And to experience love is to be rich in joys that give color to each day and significance to every detail of our lives. And to be in love with someone so wonderful is to know the true meaning of what happiness can be. This ceremony won't create a relationship that does not already exist between the two of you. It really is just a symbol of how far you've come over your time. It's a symbol of the promises that you make today as you continue to grow together, stronger as individuals, couples, and a family. No matter what challenges you face in this world, from this day on, you will face them together. No matter how much either of you succeeds in this world, from this day on, you will succeed together. And while this commitment begins with the two of you, its effect radiates outward. It touches your family and friends. When this commitment is seriously made, one of the most amazing relationships is the result. And this, I'm sure Max is what you want for Carly, and Carly, what you want for Max. And this is what your family and friends would like for you as well. Max, you feel the warmth and the tender touch that Carly has for you. And Carly, in Max's hands, you feel the strength and the love that he has for you. And at this time, Max, as you take Carly, who's standing beautiful before you, to be your lawful wedded wife, do you solemnly promise before God and your family and friends present that you will love, honor, and cherish her as your wife, forsaking all others for her alone from this day forward? And Carly, you now take Max, who's standing handsome and proud before you as your husband, do you solemnly promise before God and your family and friends present that you will love, honor, and cherish him as your husband, forsaking all others for him alone from this day forward? I do. Max, I can't believe this day is finally here, the day that I finally get to marry the man of my dreams. You are my best friend, and there is not a day that goes by that I don't thank God for bringing you into my life. You have shown me the meaning of true love and you influence me to be a better person each day. Thank you for leading me closer to God and always praying for me. I know that in the future we will have hardships, but I promise to stand by your side and work through them together. As your wife, I promise to always love you, support you, to be faithful and loyal, and to always invest in our marriage. I promise to always pray with you and for you. I promise to give you the attention and love that you give Tom Brady. I promise to pursue you and only you from this day forward. I promise to be your best friend, lover, and wife forever. Waiting for this day has felt like a lifetime and a dream come true. You are my best friend forever and I thank God for bringing you into my life. You have the biggest heart I could ever imagine anyone having. You're the most beautiful partner God could have blessed me with. There are many things I may not be able to do for you but the things I can't do, I promise to do with all of my heart. I promise to love you all of my life, just as your granny and grandpa love one another. I promise to take care of you, our future children, and our dogs, 
which names will Polly Ann and E-I-G-H. I promise to make you and our family a priority over everything. I promise to tell you everything and let you tell me anything. I promise to never stop pursuing my walk with God and keep in, to keep Him at the center of our marriage and home. I promise to protect our oneness at all costs. I promise to support your needs, career, and obsession for loving animals. I promise to always treat you with respect, be kind to you, and listen to you. Thank you for making my dream come true. Thank you for waiting for me. I love you. The words you hand wrote in these books, they really represent the first chapters in this love story, and there's many more pages that follow. And so, on your first anniversary, your fifth, your 10th, 20th, and so on, pull these books out and read these vows back to one another over a nice romantic dinner, a glass of wine. And remember this special day, but as there are more pages throughout your years, there's gonna be many more compliments that you have for one another to be written down. And as you grow together, there will be more promises that you make to one another. Now you both bring beautiful rings for one another as a symbol of love and commitment that you make today. The wedding ring is very special as it is a symbol to the outside world that the wearer is committed. And to the person who wears these rings, it's a constant daily reminder. Hardly every time it shines in your eyes or makes you feel it on your finger. But when you take each other's hand in turn, it'll remind you there's somebody out there who loves me so much that they've chosen to spend the rest of their life with me. So throughout all your days, I hope that you polish and shine these beautiful rings, but have it a reflection of your relationship. Keep your relationship and your love polished and shining for all its days. Carly, I give you this ring. Carly, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And with all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And take you as my wife. And take you as my wife. Max, I give you this ring. Max, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of the vows I've made today. Of the vows that I've made today. And your once individual hearts have now been promised to each other. Wherever you go in this world, may you always look to the other in togetherness. In the home you establish with Toby, Brody, and Charlie be a place you know you'll always come home to find a special friend. When you look at these rings in future years, remember this beautiful Lake Tahoe day standing in the snow and your family and friends that were here to witness and bless the vows that you have made to one another. And as much as you, Carly and Max, have consented today in marriage before God and us present, you have pledged your faith and declared a unity to one another through the exchange of your handwritten vows and these rings in accordance with the laws of the state of California and the powers that are vested in me by this state. I take extremely great pleasure in today being able to pronounce you husband and wife, and if I may leave you both with my own personal blessings and best wishes for a very long and happy life together. And over these four years, there have been thousands of kisses. Every kiss is special, unique, memorable, but you only get one of these in this life. It is the very first kiss as husband and wife. And Max, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time as husband and wife, Max and Carly Ruiz. <laughs>